Could you imagine if we could leapfrog language and communicate directly with human thought? What would we be capable of then? Regardless, pick a year. Will it happen in five years or 15 years? It's hard to imagine it taking much longer. I frankly did not know that we would be at this point of announcing today the first launch of a most impressive series of projects aiming at understanding how the circuits in the human brain work. We are seriously tackling an understanding of the most complicated biological structure in the known universe. This general says, sir, the conditions, the circumstances are not just right for the attack tomorrow. And Napoleon says, Circumstances not right, hell, I make circumstances. Attack! And I have never seen a successful man yet in any business that didn't say when somebody says it can't be done, he said attack! This is why thinking is so vital. This is why a goal is so important. Because we will become that. This is why people who set goals achieve them. The trouble with men is not in achieving their goals. They do that. It's in establishing them. Attack! Start where you are. And when you get around to that curve in the road, you'll know you can't see by it until you get there, you'll always find that the road goes on around. A person can never be broken. We the people need not accept our limitations, but can transcend disability through technological innovation. Don't procrastinate, don't stand still, attack! We have a chance to improve the lives of not just millions, but billions of people on this planet through the research that's done in this brain initiative alone. We must love them, we must help them, we must serve them because our whole success will depend on our ability to do these things. But never lose our own individuality and our identity by permitting ourselves to become submerged in what has historically proved itself to be little more than a suffocating sea of indirection and purposelessness. We truly are living in an extraordinary time. And many people forget this. We're going to develop transformative technologies that will accelerate fundamental understanding of the brain. The right to live life without severe depression. The right to see a loved one in the case of seeing impaired. Or the right to walk or to dance in the case of limb paralysis or limb amputation. A wearable PET scan uses lasers uh, to non-invasively turn hundreds of specific cells on or off anywhere in the brain. And uh, definiteness of purpose inspires confidence in one's integrity and character, and it attracts the favorable attention of other people. Real-time movements of neurotransmitters uh, to be observed, uh, neurotransmitters involved in disorders like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, schizophrenia, and depression. We are the first generation that's going to be able to enter into, using this technology, the human mind and brain. Where will we take it? Being next generation microelectrodes that can not only measure but deliver small doses of drugs and record activity from thousands of individual neurons for months at a time. Indeed, through fundamental advances in bionics in this century, we will set the technological foundation for an enhanced human experience and we will end disability. That, that's the future we're imagining. That's what we're hoping for.